Okay guys, in this video I will talk about the very basic structure and you can see this, this is known as electrical transmission line, okay. And in this video I will discuss about how this electrical transmission line actually carry different type of loads and also what are the different points you need to remember when you are actually going to uh, design this particular steel skeleton structure and, and also its foundation, okay. So before starting this video, if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and also press the bell icon. Okay, so let's start. So the very first thing that you can see in this picture is simply a 3D uh, steel structure. Okay, in real life also, these are normally steel angle. Okay, now what are the forces that are actually coming to the structure? You know that to design any particular structure, whatever complex or whatever simple it is, First, you have to know what are the loading coming to this structure, okay. So, the very first load that is coming to the structure is the load of the structure itself, okay, and also the load due to these lines, okay, for which you are actually constructing this structure. And these loads are known as, yes, gravity load, okay. And what are the other loads? Of course, we have considered the gravity load or the vertically downward acting load due to the self weight as well as the load of this electrical wires okay and the second type of loading that you need and the second type of loading that you need to consider when you are designing the foundation as well as the superstructure that is of course the lateral load now the lateral load may be due to the cyclonic storm or maybe due to the earthquake okay but of course you have to consider this lateral load okay so that's it about the loading now let's understand how actually uh, this steel structure or the steel skeleton carry this type of loads okay after discussing about the load carrying strategy we will talk about the design of foundation okay so first try to understand how they actually carry the gravity load okay and here you can see that gravity loads are mainly applied at this point okay these are the points where you are connecting your electrical wires and due to that the loads are actually applied at this point right now let's consider this particular part okay now uh, if i say that this is the cantilever beam okay and you are applying some point load here i don't think that it's very much blunder okay because the action of load here you can see it's more or less similar to the cantilever beam and you also know that in cantilever beam the maximum bending moment occurs at the support okay and due to that uh, huge amount of bending moment you need to provide large depth okay so if you provide a simple concrete beam in that case you have to provide a cross section like this okay here you can see at the free end the depth of the beam is uh, quite small compared to the depth at this fixed end the same thing also happens here you can see this is nothing but a cantilever truss correct and you can see that depth of this truss at this fixed end here is more compared to this free end and the load is being applied here okay so the very simple strategy of cantilever beam has been used here to carry the point load due to the wires correct and also you can see here that if we have any point load acting on the cantilever we can replace that like this let's say this is the column okay and we have a cantilever beam like this and we have a load here okay we can say that at this point actually we have a load acting at the center of the column and as well as a moment let's say the distance is d load is p so we can say the load is acting here and a moment with magnitude of p times d is also acting here okay so you can say that this point load is actually being applied at this point and it is going to the foundation directly 
through this vertical member as well as this inclined member okay now what about this moment due to this point load and the distance we have a moment here also okay and you know that any moment is nothing but a pull and a push okay so we can say that due to this point load we have a lateral load here acting like this or due to this point load we have a lateral load acting like this and this and these laterals are due to this moment correct and how these lateral loads are actually going to carry it out by this structure simply you know that lateral load follow the shortest path so now it will go through this point to here then here then here then finally to this foundation so interestingly you can see here that you are actually applying the point load here and the part of this point load is going to be transferred to this foundation okay i am going to use the same logic in case of lateral load also due to wind load or the earthquake load okay so let's say we have wind load or earthquake load and they are being applied each and every joint okay you know that earthquake load is a nodal load and they actually applied each and every node okay now consider any load and just follow the shortest path to this foundation and you will have the idea how these loads are going to transfer okay so let's consider we have also load here too okay and let's start with this one here you can see that this this and then finally to this 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 is the shortest path for this load right now let's say we are considering this load okay so here this it will directly go to this point then here then here then here okay then here and like that it will reach here okay so i may be wrong to some point but just remember that it will follow the shortest path okay just draw different configuration and you will have actually through which path these loads are going to travel the same thing is also valid for this load also uh, for example it will go to this point first then here then here then here then here then it will go like this okay actually it is coming to this point so this is the configuration of load path due to gravity load as well as the lateral load okay so based on that you have to design each and every steel member okay i'm not discussing about the compressive force or the tensile force okay uh, I think you are able to find that too. Now, just discuss about the foundation. Okay. So, now you know that the vertical loads which were acting like this, they have come to this foundation and have created some compressive force or compressive reaction. So, based on this compressive reaction, you can either provide some pad foundation like this or if you have low quality soil or subgrade in that case you have to provide the pile foundation but to carry this compressive force a uh, pad foundation or the isolated foundation can be used okay now what about the lateral load let's say all the lateral loads are being applied at the center okay let's say this is the resultant of all the lateral load right and you know that it is fixed here so here it is something like this a cantilever column okay so this is the column and it is fixed at the base and you are applying all your lateral load at the tip of this column so as a result what will happen simply at this base there will be some moment right and again you know that i don't like moment rather i like to express moment in the terms of push and a pull right so here 
uh, we will have some push and a pull okay so to carry this push or compressive force again isolated footing or wrapped footing or any type of shallow footing can be used it doesn't matter if the soil or the bedrock is good in that case you can have this type of wrapped or isolated footing but what about this tensile force a pool is nothing but a tensile force which is trying to uplift your tower okay if you consider this tower if i have some tensile force acting like this it is actually trying to pull out this leg so as a result this structure or this tower may be uh, overturned right so for that the only option is you have to provide the file foundation because a file have a comparatively larger capacity against uplift force compared to your wrapped or isolated footing okay so that's all about the electrical transmission tower thanks for watching and if you like this video don't forget to share it